Chapter 8, Lesson 7, Solve One-Step Inequalities. You can use addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division to solve one-step inequalities. And like we've done in the previous lesson, you can also graph the solutions on a number line. When you add or subtract the same number from each side of an inequality, the inequality remains true. So what we're really doing is we're just solving these as if they were equations. Okay, We're solving it the same way, but instead of bringing down an equal sign, we're going to bring down the inequality signs. So let's try some together. Solve each inequality and graph the solution on the number line provided. We draw our line through, this time, the inequality symbol. How do I get x by itself? I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides. x, bring down your inequality symbol, greater than or equal to. Don't bring down an equal sign, I don't have one. 10 minus 7 is 3. So the solution is x is greater than or equal to 3. We solved it the same way we would an equation. The only difference is that instead of an equal sign, we have an inequality symbol. And now let's graph the solution. 3 would go in the center, 2 and 4 on either side. Is it an open or closed circle on 3? It's closed. Plug in some values. Is 2 greater than or equal to 3? It is not. That's false. Is 4 greater than or equal to 3? That one is true. We draw our line to the right over 4. Letter B. X minus 3 is less than 9. To get rid of minus 3, we're going to add 3 to both sides. x less than 9 plus 3 is 12. So our solution is x is less than 12. When we graph it, 12 goes in the center, and 11 and 13 on either side. Open or closed on 12? open. And let's plug in values to figure out which way we draw our arrow. Is 11 less than 12? Yes, it is. That's a true statement. So we're going to draw our arrow to the left. Letter C. N plus 2 is less than or equal to 5. We're going to subtract 2 from both sides. n is less than or equal to 5 minus 2 is 3. So n is less than or equal to 3 is our solution. To graph it, 3 goes in the center, 2 on the left, 4 on the right. Is it an open or closed circle on 3? It's a closed circle. And I know it's a closed circle because of that equal to line underneath. Plug in values 2 and 4 to see which way to draw our line. Is 2 less than or equal to 3? Yes, it is. That's a true statement. So we're going to draw our arrow to the left over the 2. Y minus 3 is greater than 9. We're going to add 3 to both sides. Y is greater than 12. Twelve is our center number. 11 and 13 on either side. It is an open circle on 12. And let's plug in our numbers. Is 11, 11 greater than 12? 
It is not. That is false. Is 13 greater than 12? Yes, it is. That is true. So we draw our arrow to the right. When you multiply or divide each side of an inequality by the same positive number, the inequality remains true. So it works the same way for multiplication and division. So we have solve, solve each inequality and graph the solution on the number line provided. So here we have 5 times x is less than or equal to 45. You must show your work. This is not mental math. To get rid of multiplication, we're going to divide by 5 on both sides. x is less than or equal to 45 divided by 5 is 9. 9 goes in the center, 10 and 8 on either side. It is a closed circle, again because of it equal to. Let's plug in our numbers. Is 8 less than or equal to 9? Yes, it is. Here we have x over 8 is greater than 3. But remember, try and read that without using the word over. How could you read this? Good. Fractions are division. x divided by 8 is greater than 3. How do I get rid of divided by 8? We multiply by 8. So I'm going to multiply by 8 on both sides. We get x is greater than 3 times 8 is 24. And I'm just going to rewrite that. X is greater than 24. You don't have to rewrite it. Mine just was a little sloppy over there. 24 goes in the center. 25 after it. 23 before it. It's an open circle on 24. Because there's no equal to line. It's just, just a greater than symbol. Nothing extra. Plug in our values. Is 23 greater than 24? It is not. That's false. Let's try 25. Is 25 greater than 24? Yes, it is. That is true. Which means we draw our arrow over 25. Letter C. 10x is less than 80, or 10 times x is less than 80. To get rid of a multiplication by 10, we're going to divide by 10 on both sides. x is less than 80 divided by 10 is 8. 8 the middle number, followed by 9 and after 7. It's an open circle. And plug in our values. Is 7 less than 8? It is. That's true. So we will draw our arrow to the left. Letter D. X divided by 6 is greater than or equal to 7. To get rid of divided by 6, we're going to multiply by 6 on both sides. X is greater than or equal to 7 times 6 is 42. 42 goes in the center. 43 after it. 41 before it. It's a closed circle because of that equal to, that extra line. And plug in our values. Is 41 greater than or equal to 42? It is not. That's false. Is 43 greater than or equal to 42? 
that is true. So we draw our arrow over the 43. Laverne is making bags of party favors for each of the seven friends attending her birthday party. She does not want to spend more than $42 on the party favors. Write and solve an inequality to find the maximum cost for each party favor bag. So we need a let statement because we don't have a variable. Let x equal, we want to know the cost of one bag. So we have x and we have 42. She doesn't want to spend more than 42. Okay. First of all, before I go there, she has seven friends attending her birthday party. So we actually have to take the seven and multiply it by the x because she needs seven bags. So we have seven bags and $42. She would love to spend less than $42. And she says she doesn't want to spend more than $42. So it sounds to me like she's okay spending $42. So we would have 7x is less than or equal to $42. That's her maximum. That's the most amount of money she wants to spend. To solve this inequality, we're going to divide by 7 on both sides and we would get x is less than or equal to 6. Which means each party bag, she wants to cost $6 or less. Nobody wants to spend more money than they have to. 6 would be in the center. 7, oops, not 8, it would be 5. There we go, we'll just change that to a 5. It would be a closed circle because she's okay with spending $6. We're going to include that $6. And she wants to spend less than or equal to $6. So let's plug in our values. 5 less than or equal to 6. Is that true or false? It's true. So we would draw our arrow towards the 5. That's the end of Lesson 7.